So second league of the day, uh, we just finished up a scam league, went 2-3, uh, had a punt on my turn that definitely cost us at least one match, uh, potentially a second, but still getting used to the deck. League number two, we're running back most of the same uh, same cards. The only difference is we're swapping out the fourth Dothy Void Walker, the Village Rights, the seventeenth land, and the fifth uh, three mana spell for four Street Wraith, and then we're swapping out the Fable of the Mirror Breakers for Season Pyromancer. Sideboard, I think it's the exact same as it was last league. So let's just jump in and see what happens. Mike hates me now. <laughs> Definitely do not hate you. I think you have a very high opinion of this deck that I don't necessarily reiterate, but I do not hate you. I'd add some ledger shredders. Honestly, the deck needs um, uh, tainted indulgence. If I wanted to win, I'd play good magic cards, but that's not what we're all about here. Let's see, it's five o'clock. Yeah, I got like two-ish hours. Make sure I don't miss our softball game so our manager doesn't get pissed at me. All right. Waiting for an opponent. Preferably one that's playing an unfair deck that we can scam out. Right. What about Shredder and Indulgence in this deck? Such a big brain move. Alright, so I think we gotta ship this. Uh we'll keep this and ditch. Kinda wanna just ditch the swamp. So I think I'm going to. I don't think Scam is consistent enough to be good, but it can definitely pump out some high-octane leagues. I always consider the deck a sideshow. Please go fast. It's better than degenerate meta games. So anyone mildly interested should definitely be aware of that. Oh, boy. All right. So that's actually really, really good because now I can Scam around uh, Archive Trap. So let's go... You exile, and I think I'm just exiling Dothy here. So I can still play the turn two shadow. Pony did mull down to <laughs> rewarded the huge rewarded. Love to see it. We also could have, like, played Verdant Catacombs, played the Grief, uh, seen the first Evoke, and then fetch your Shock, but it doesn't play around, like, second copy of Archive Trap. All right. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. So, swing in. Let's 
cycle a wraith. Hope our opponent doesn't have another copy of Archive Trap. Play Shadow. Bolt the Crab. Say go. And we like laugh at Tasha's hideous laughter here, right? Like, we don't care about that card in the slightest. We got a bunch of Furies and Griefs and... <laughs> oh man, that, that felt a little bit bad, I'm not gonna lie. I was like... Maybe I want the push. Destroy mill. Uh, we'll see. I guess if I'm boarding out... Yeah. I want to keep an eye on, like, if I'm boarding out or into uh, too many black or red cards. Board out, like, a wraith. We'll see what happens. Uh, K Command I should have brought in. Honestly forgot it was in the sideboard. I think we can do better. Okay. Ditch a... Bloodstain Mire? No, because we got Bolt. Ditch a Swamp. Show me the crab. Crab people, crab people. You. And we will. Folk you. Dying Evil, the Fury. All right, here's our four, four double striking Fury. That we really, really, really hope you can't answer. <laughs> but if you can, we're gonna Malachi rebirth it from now until the end of time. Surgical is a thing. Surgical is a thing. You're not wrong. And I'm just like not gonna fetch. I don't want to open up Archive Trap. Deal. Deal all day. As previously stated, we eat Tasha's hideous laughter for breakfast. Extirpate. Extirpate. Opponents playing the Magic the Gathering card. Extirpate. Alright. I think they're going to shock. Commit suicide. Ah. Oh. Oh, I guess they have Odawara. Sure. Alright. How about a bolt? Bolt or like any red card. Um. So you got extra pay, unknown, unknown. Guess I'm supposed to fetch off of these now. Oh, 
or did they mill over? I have no more lands I can get because they milled over my uh, swamps. Uh oh. And they can extirpate a fury with the uh, trigger on the stack. Yeah, I should have played out Rebirth. You're right. You got it. Absolutely should have played out Rebirth. Is something that can be confused with the clock. Something that they have to answer or die. I guess that technically answers it. Right, we've got 13 cards left. Uh, we did not mill over a Fury. So they can't, uh, can't extirpate them. Okay. Let's go. Extirpate my Spyro. Got it. Could have rebirthed there right after they tapped off extra pay. Uh, last turn. Did they tap off extra pay? I didn't think they did. Play out this in case uh, I draw another Undying Evil effect. That should do it. Yep. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, Alright, so Odawara is something to be cognizant of. Mike absolutely does not know the ways of the scam. This is all new and scary and concerning to me. So this is like the backup plan thing. I think I have to keep this just because it's like turn one Ragavan kills crabs. I've got a thought seize. Or I guess I'm probably just thought seizing on turn one. Ha. Huh. Man, don't we feel stupid? Double push, double surgical counter spell. Okay. Oh, we'll get fatal pushes out of hand. All 
All right. I've got no more Ragavans. We've got a surgical left, no more fatal push, counter spell. Okay. So I would like to get to hard casting that. I think we're going to upkeep two and discard. Discard another surgical. Okay. Hiya. So now they got Field of Ruin. And like Tasha's and all that. All right. And I don't believe we have any way of dealing with that anymore. Do not have another K command, no. We only had one. Hmm. That, in fact, ain't good. We'll see what we can figure out. Reef is, in fact, bad against Bridge. You're not wrong. And I think I only brought in one EE. Yep. So they had both surgical and extirpate out of the board, right? Which I feel like you don't play one until you're maxed, or you don't play like extirpate until you're maxed out on surgicals. But if they brought in like four surgicals against this, that's impressive. Uh, yeah, we do have S seasoned pyromancer. We can start getting back this next turn. Draw step field to ruin me. Extirpate my bolts. Maybe you can resolve Dolphin, discard something that can remove bridge. 
I don't know if they have anything that can remove bridge. <laughs> so about that Spyro plan. So that's double surgical, double extirpate. Opponent who hurt you. So let's see. Spyros are gone. Ragavans are gone. We've got Dothy. How many Dothys do we have left? Boarded out one. Yeah, I think we'll just quality of life scoop here. And I don't know if I would say like we had game two. It would have been close. But we'll see. We're out here to learn. We're not out here to play perfectly every game. Um, I think I'm gonna roll with this. Reasonable fair hand that's got like a little bit of unfair upside. Opponents mold to five, so. Oh boy, Char Belcher. All right, so Fetch Shock, Cycle Street Wraith. In case we hit like the other half of the scam. Um. I kind of want to just like take one of the lands and then grief take the other. Is that crazy? And I just get like Dolphy next turn and a prayer. I think I'm going to do that. Turn one of missing a land drop. So we'll fetch and shock in case we find a shadow. I'm just probably firing off both of these lightning bolts into turn so that if I happen to draw into a seasoned pyromancer, it gets a lot better. the Char Belcher deck now. Nice. We have scammed the scammer successfully. 
Have you seen that new MTG Kamigawa keycap set? I have not. Do you have like a, a picture or something? Or a link? Alright. Charbelcher, Charbelcher, Charbelcher. Blood Moon doesn't do anything since they normally play Blood Moon. It's bad. Just pour it out like a bolt. Keep all my threats in. Um, so they're probably boarding in like ley line, right? Just roll with it. All right, let me find a link. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's pretty cool. $150 for a keycap keycap set. Jeez. Like it's cool, don't get me wrong. The color combination looks nice. Is this 70 bucks for a USB cable? What on earth are they charging over here? Like, I like the design of it, but I don't want to pimp out my desk for 150 bucks just for keycaps. Like, my keyboard was like 150. I don't want to pay another 150 just for the caps. <laughs> they look nice. I'm assuming they're like relatively uh, stable. Yeah, but they're not custom. They're mass produced. Like if I got to make the the choices there and say like, oh, I want to, uh, I want to change up like some of the minor color schemes or something like that. Mesh it around to like make the blue fit like my logo or something uh my keyboard is a hard to show like this is a razor or not a chroma all right turn one ragavan I think I have to ship this. I don't think I can afford to ship again. But we get to find out whether or not they have like a ley line here. Some pretty important. Gotta get you a more custom mech keyboard. I mean, I could get a more custom one, but like nobody sees my full setup. They only see like me, so my keyboard doesn't matter too and in too incredibly much. Spike field hazard, sure. Go high upside and play the double shadow. But I mean, like, I've never been huge into needing, like, custom RGB lighting or uh, customized face plates, keycaps, anything like that. Like, I wear the hell out of my equipment, so if I get anything fancy, it's just going to be like beat to hell and back in no time. Three 
across the paths. Putting this on the bottom. Man, I could have put them to uh, to one if I had another land, but. Show me what you got. I assume this matchup is going to be a lot better for us on the play. They did reveal Ley Line in here. So, yeah, they've got that. <laughs> I guess they thought they were going to have another turn to set up there. And we just like cut them off that. Like, let's see. I'm guessing... They could have paid the three life without a problem, gone down to two, get the third mana ritual into an iron crag feat. So let's say they did they not put um what's it called on top? The wheel reforge the soul. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, so we're basically two. Uh, we're we're one in one with an asterisk. One in one with like a hey guys, look, we're new to the deck. We're gonna make mistakes. Can't hold it against us forever. It's like whatever you want to consider that to be. That's what we are. We one and one and jamming. Like, I will say, games like that, Shadow has been an excellent addition as a backup plan to the deck. Like, Shadow's been looking pretty good. Right, I guess we didn't update Stream Decker. Whoops. Uh, so the list is close to the same, but we dropped out or we added some street rates in here. We cut like one of the, the three drops and I'm uploading the correct deck list now. All right, so this is the correct deck list. Microman. Oh, 
ship this. All right, let's turn one fury and we'll throw back the Dothy. Please don't be on living end. Please don't be on living end. Foothills. Yeah, I think I am turn one monkeying now. So I'm still like turn two, Agadim, Thoughtseize. And Fury. I also give myself the chance of just like drawing another red card. Uh, this is a uh, uh, indomitable creativity, probably. Ren and six ping the Ragavan. Oh no, Bone Crusher. Let's go. Thought sees. Fury, Fury, Fable. Oh boy. So. I guess I just have to take Fable, Fury. I'd really like to draw a red source or a red card so I can evoke this fury without um, losing Spyro here. Alright, so let's go Exile Spyro. I'm going to rebirth the Fury so that if they evoke Fury to kill it, uh, I get to bring it back with a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Or they probably just going to like take six here untap play fury and then i get to undying evil the fury kill their fury swing back for a bunch all right play this hard cast this fury for all you're worth just windmill slam it like oh i got a fury Oh, I got an undying evil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got take that one big bucks no whammies big bucks no whammies ah uh, they hit a violent outburst they totally hit a violent outburst Five thousand percent hit a violent outburst. 
always the blind rip off the top. Is this ice? Oh, that's way better for me. Whew. Did they all right, I was gonna say if they iced into the violent outburst, I was going to be livid. <laughs> Charlotte's agent, yep. Yeah. And we die to that. Man, what a series of draws there. Because if we don't swing, they swing back. Rhino, Fury kills a Rhino. And just six gets through. God, what a series of draws. Like, if they hadn't have drawn the way to kill the Dolphy, then we would have been able to exile this uh, Cascade Air Crashing Footballs and just, like, cast one on our turn. So they had to find a way to stop the Fury, kill the Dolphy, and get the Rhinos right away. Ugh. That's rough. Really is classic. Yeah, and had to be Shardless Agent 2 to be able to get the extra 2 damage. Like, that was just... Nuts three cards in a row. The only thing different is they could have drawn straight into... Or no, if they had drawn straight into Shardless off of the, uh, the Fire and Ice, we would have won because, again, they would have had the Shardless on their turn. We exiled the, ca or, uh, the Crashing Footballs. So it had to be the or tap fury into uh kill dolphy into shardless agent exactly like that is insane all right so just boarding out bolts because they don't kill rhinos too well Of like a wraith. Dolphy's good. Like the more I think about it, the more I'm just like, oh my god, they actually did that. They had just this straight stop fury and to kill Dolphy into uh into Shardless. Last scam league without a dogfish level rage fest. You weren't quite there yet. It's gonna take a lot to get me to that point. So this is kind of the good fair hand. The rope and gets there. Maybe Ragavan gets a hit through. Spin footballs, sure. All 
All right, I kind of want to just go like Spyro, Ditch, Smashing, Terminate. Okay. Got it. All right, that's two footfalls suspended. main phase of footfalls. Are we broing about their hand? Because I feel like this is pretty typical of my experience against this deck. Supposed to evoke a fury, kill us. Evoke, kill, shardless agent. So I can play out my EE. E. I guess we're just playing out the EE. E. We don't need to evoke and kill anything. So their last card in hand is a fire and ice. Suspend the fourth footfalls. Oh, man. All right. All right. Opponent wants it more. Sure, I should have blocked. Okay. These are both decent.
cliccare Okay, how aggressive do we want to be? I don't want to go Shadow plus Dolphy, because then I'm just dead if they find, like, Fire and Ice or Brazen Borrowers off the top and bounce my Shadow. Like, I think the play is Dolphy EE. -E. Yeah, I think that's the play. Because we still get to cast our own rhinos, but we're s protected against, like, a bounce effect or a tap effect off the top. think waiting actually matters. I was going to say, I think you might as well swing in with your rhinos. They're going to die one way or another. Matters if they play repudiate. I guess also matters if they play um oh uh, what is it the two and a green crozen grip which is in fact legal in this format all right playing rhinos um i think i'm just cracking in for three here Means shadows lethal next turn. Cruising grip GG bud. Cruising grip always GG bud. Woo. Another game against Rhinos. Okay, Gorilla Grip. <laughs> um, Alright, so Ragavan's a lot worse on the draw. Is there anything else I want to replace Ragavan with? I guess I'll take like a Street Wraith and a Terminate on the draw. Um, so yeah, we're keeping this, right? Shit. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Leyline of the Void. Like, I expected uh, Endurance. Didn't expect Leyline of the Void. I think I'm just going to play one of these as they go. Ben, what's up? 
Glad you're able to make it for this intolerable scam league. But waiting on this thought sees gives me the most chances to potentially hit like a uh, a cascade spell or a way to stop the uh, like the chalice. So we're just taking fire and ice. Turn target creature. So yeah, we'll just take fire and ice, play out, blood crypt, tap, sure, play chalice, save, go. Now they gotta find an answer to chalice. Next turn we can like spyro ditch something or we can we're probably spiral ditching something. Spiral ditch like rebirth land. No. Well, like rebirth terminate, maybe. Okay. That dead and gone is dead and gone. And it's not going to fall for our tricks by just hard casting a, uh, a shardless agent. So we do need to like end this game before they find uh, a brazen borrower. So we'll attack first in case they've got like an endurance that they want to flash in. Fortunately, their endurances do do look or their fury looks better than our fury right now. If they just have or have been drawing fury, but if they haven't. All right, need something good. Well, I kind of can't Agadim a Fury. There's this, uh, this Ley Line of the Void card out here that's preventing such a thing from occurring. I think I'm going to hold on to this second Fury. a fury on my fury yep. so they did in fact have the the fury 
which is what I was wondering about. Nice. All right, so here I'm just gonna play uh, fetch land and shadow. So I'm protecting shadow from like a dead side of dead and gone. If they just wanna bounce the shadow, that's fine. But if they do something like hard cast a fury here, then I get to untap fury then back. Yeah, get scammed in the most fair way possible. <laughs> it's like diet scam. Like, hey, what if we can scam, but we're going to make the scam not look like a scam. It's going to look like you actually just don't know what you're doing. The songs over here talking about, what if we all have future pants? Pants that we're going to wear tomorrow and the next day and the next day. What? Okay, so we're just going to keep this on the back of a good, sh like, Ragavan shadow hand. Basic Swamp Inquisition. Okay, so it could be mono black, it could be a weird Jun start. Got a phone call, we win last match. Yes, we did win last match. We, uh, we furied a, uh, an opposing shardless agent as one does. All right, so it is mono black. Let's go Fetch and Shock, Cycle Street Wraith, Shadow Shadow. There's an Urza Saga. Oh man. Opponent might have had the better fair plan. So we gotta kill Lily. I'll never be able to block Wraith. You're, uh, you're not wrong on that one.
They must be 8 rack. I would just have like so much cheap interaction. Because I think uh, Mono Black plays most of this too, don't they? Like Thoughtseize, Inquisition, Fatal Bush. we'll find out just call first play saga probably not all right fair point all right how about a land for uh for this fury i should have specified Is there any way a shock to five fury kills just a construct token and I attack in with shadow and grief. This is an eight eight. They block here, take three. I'm dead to Dolphy on the crack back if I do that. Dolphy swings in, puts me down to two, and then I've got um, no lethal on the way back. So what I need to do is swing with both. That was like a basic swamp or even a fetch land then i think we could have gotten this i just choose not to block so if i shock in spyro tokens chump chump i still take three go to five three take Three, go to two, die to rack on the upkeep. So I guess I was supposed to play the Agadim first. So maybe they would have been more inclined to block something. Red Dragon spoiled or spoiled in Dominaria any good? I have not seen it. If you got like a link, I'd be happy to check it out, but I have no idea what card you're talking about. It's like Red X has Flying Haste, enters with X-1-1 one, one counters. So kind of like um, or the Hydra. Mist Cutter Hydra. But yeah, if you got a link to it, you can definitely check it out. Fireball Dragon. <laughs> there we go. If it's like Miss Cutter Hydra, probably not. Miss Cutter was a beast in standard. Shivan Devastator. Oh. X and a red, flying haste, and there's battlefield with X11 one, one counters on it. I mean, 
Doesn't look like anything crazy to me. Maybe there's a deck that rituals into it a lot. Put our opponent on the play. YOLO. If they inquisition me, I get to laugh. <laughs> Can't take four out of the seven cards, man. I guess they take the Undying Evil. That's like probably best thing. Maybe the Ragavan. But I think if I find a land and I get to Undying Evil, this Grief, like, they're in pretty rough shape. Yep. Speak of the Devil. You'd be FNM Dragon Tribal Quality. That's kind of a harsh comparison. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Is this like another Thoughtseize plus Fatal Push the Ragavan start? Yep. Pretty sure these decks are supposed to have a fail rate in there somewhere. Calm down. Hi uh Another fatal push. Nope, Lily. All right. Got a ditch grief, so maybe we can find a red card and evoke solitude. But all in all, scam looking pretty rough against the deck that just wants you to discard everything. Liliana down. So now we can draw like Spiros and things. Another Lily. Okay. The Lily no tick up. Lily no tick up again. Spyro. Fury to hard cast something. Come on, Fury. Almost. Almost. So 
There's no asterisk here. Taking a slapping from 8 rack currently. It looks pretty bad, especially if they just got like an old thought sees Liliana fatal push hand. I mean, if we just find Spyros instead of like seven of the 16 lands in our deck. I guess the bright side is if they ultimate this Liliana, we just, like, couldn't care less. We've got a feign death. I remember that magical time when uh, Eight Rack would board in four Death Shadows just for like the aggro matchups. Okay. It's probably about as bad of a flooding as you could get. Got it. All right, now, now we're just uh, curious how many of these we're going to see. Why they're thinning the deck by fetching? Because I don't want to speed up the clock to this. There's just like no benefit from it. Got it. I don't know what our out is, but we're totally about to find it. Hey. Told you we'd find it. Exile Locked Wayne, yeah. You got it. Oh man. That one felt horrible. We're just gonna kinda hope that we don't have to play against that deck ever again. But we do get to go into game or match number five, seeing if we're at least going to uh to feed the kids. Or if the kids are starving. Like, I think if we go 3-2, and we at least built on the first league of the day, I'll feel okay. But I still think the deck needs a better sideboard plan. Like, I don't want to be in a situation where I'm supposed to be boarding out a lot of the, um, 
the scam stuff, but then we're just boarding into like nothing post board. Alright. So this is a reasonable scam hand. What's the scam stuff? Uh, the griefs and furies and like undying evil effects. Things like that. It's like the unfair half of the deck that's just trying to be degenerate. And... Alright. So I think I'm going to go for the the grief here. How do I want to do this? Grief pitch. Is grief pitch agadine too greedy? Because if I grief pitch agadine and don't see another land, I can't shadow. But I can uh, scam a fury next turn. That's really close. I could also just like ditch the shadow and have Ragavan plus Scam Fury next turn. Or no, I can't have Ragavan plus Scam Fury. Never mind. Uh, so then let's just ditch. Yeah, rebirth. Regardless, footfalls, fire and ice. So that's going to be able to kill regardless. So I guess we're going take this, rebirth, take shardless agent. And just try to win before Footfalls comes down. Because so I do just have like turn two Agadim Shadow Ragavan. Alright, so Besage is all that's left. All right, I can keep the Agadim around. Uh, so let's, I guess we're just dashing. Like I'm usually not a big fan of dashing in these scenarios because there's just like not much I hit that I care about. But I guess I'm actually more interested in dashing here because I bounce Ragvan back to my hand. And I can evoke Fury with it. There's Kevin in the chat. Oh uh, yeah, we had a rough one with a uh, scam last league. We got out scammed pretty bad. All right, catch your triumph is fine. I like that. So that means we get to make a treasure here in Dothy. So they have to like 
both get blockers for grief and shadow and deal with the Dolphy since it can just swing through. All right. So that was pretty good. Maybe soon, now that I realize the only RCQ in town is fully, or is full, only like 20 spots, so I don't need to focus on Pioneer. Yeah, that's been kind of the issue with me. Like, all of the RCQs we have are all Pioneer. So, there's like not a big reason to play Modern. But, I want to play Modern, so... this I think this is kind of what we did against the last run as opponent oh baby snap it off who needs scams when you just got thought seizes and thought seizes and shadows and junk Fire and ice. Uh, let's take a violent outburst. If they want to ice me next turn, that's fine. Like, I'm still going to thought seize, so. To be honest, I've have been having way more fun in Pioneer than Modern. Not having fun playing against four color Cascade, Saga, Ragavan every round. I respect that opinion completely. So opponent chooses not to ice me. So in turn, let's repay their kindness with taking ice. And we'll just play out the shadows, say go. Don't you get Grease Fang in Pioneer every round? I don't think that's the case. Like, Grease Fang's there, but I feel like every time I've played Pioneer, I've maybe played against Grease Fang once every, like, 10 to 15 matches. That's pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and play that out. Then do I want to rebirth a fury here? Probably not. Been liking Pioneer, but it's not better than healthy modern. So you're saying like um, a healthy modern format is above a healthy Pioneer format. But a an average pioneer format is below an unhealthy modern format. Does that sound about right? Alright, swing in with shadow. See if they want to fire off this subtlety uh, to try to chump block. Like it's getting the subtlety, sure. So let's see what we're seeing with the uh, the subtle or with the grief, and we can decide then if we want to uh, keep it around or if we want to rebirth it. So yeah, we're 
we're gonna let the grief go and evoke the fury. Yeah, and rebirth the fury. Woo. All right, went positive. Always a plus. Um, I think Street Wraiths, for the most part to me, were a positive addition. Made like the shadow plan a lot more consistent whenever the scam doesn't work out. Uh, I felt like I was still seeing Dothy a lot. So, I think that was a reasonable addition. <laughs>